Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Yeah, uh, just a very quick little update. Just want to kind of like, I guess, make a point, but I know you guys get it and give you a little update of what's going on. Thank you guys again, as always, for your support over on Patreon. Indeed. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you guys. So you guys, you must have seen these things. Soap Opera Digest, Daytime's Best Actor. Oh, Leading Lady Leaves, Guiding Light, Last Minute Cast Changes, you know, soap operas. Those things are so poorly acted that, I mean, you know, can you really watch them? Some people do, and I had a lot of family members that did, you know, uh, aunts and et cetera. You know, they hung on to every little dramatic turn yeah, days of our lives guiding light as the world turns what will happen to bobby oh you know it's it's getting to be pretty obvious that that's what we see in politics it's just a big soap opera it really truly is a big soap opera nice bow tie you got there so by the way jim jordan is not going to pursue a third speaker of the house vote so what does this mean so he's going to support Patrick McHenry as the interim speaker until January of 2024. Over two weeks ago, Representative Patrick T. McHenry assumed the position of speaker pro temper. Following Kevin McCarthy's removal from the speakership, McCarthy appointed McHenry for this role in accordance with House rules mandating the speaker to maintain a confidential list of representatives eligible to serve as speaker pro tempore in the event of a vacancy. Now, he's 47 years old from North Carolina's 10th Congressional District. Additionally, he holds position of chairman of the House Financial Services Committee. Ah, okay, so you know, what's the big deal with this? Well, you know, when you look into his, his bio... And all the one thing that really, really sticks out is he's got one of these pages, you know, one of these few pages. Yes, absolutely. He's on the Fuse website, the weforum.org people. So, you know, when you think about it, he is third in line. If anything happened uh, to one and two, he would be the head puppet. And And again, it's just... I think so much is really about show. I do think so much is really about show. So much of it is is selling. It really is. Politics is sales. Politics is sales. And they have to keep us engaged in the drama, just like a soap opera. Yeah, it's, it's glorified sales. You know, I mean, definitely glorified pay. Um, they do very well. And honestly all of these people are doing so well they would be silly to give up their positions in a world that is completely 100 percent driven by money and greed they're in the best place if that's what they need and and, and you know <laughs> it just stinks for the rest of us who want a different world but that's what we have to create they they spent a lot of time and effort creating their world we have the opportunity and the option to do something different you know, and not just politics paying well, but covering politics. You know, Brett Baer, you know, the, the Fox uh, News guy. This is his house. $31.9 million uh, in D.C. for sale. At $31.9 million for covering the news, he's able to afford this. Thirty-one point nine. Do you think he got paid to give you a certain slant of that news? Yeah, absolutely. Boy. Covering the news as a news anchor really pays. Politicians, again, we've, we've wondered. Their salaries, you know, albeit are large by the average standard, but still, how did they end up with millions and sometimes tens and hundreds of millions of dollars of assets? Things pay. By the way, you know, if he was, you know, something happened to number one and number two, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Number two. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Then he would be n the new number one. And again, you know, the puppet, again, Rothschild himself said, I don't care what puppets on the throne. Those that control the money control the throne. By the way, oh, he's got a big old P 
page on the few, doesn't he? Joseph R. Biden Jr., who, who actually is six feet under. We, we talked about that over on E Arts. The, re- the reality is we've been watching body doubles slash clones the whole time. Here we have Ivanka Trump, just named there. No smiling face anymore, as the page was kind of wiped. But we do have Donald over on on the few as well. So, you know, and, and we'll see Greg Abbott's over there. Of course, we'll see everybody that's anybody in UK politics over there. And then, of course, Trudeau and Macron. And we could go on and on and on. This is from the few itself. These are the world's most powerful women that they have placed in their positions. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a soap opera. Large portion of Americans doubt democracy and view, uh-oh, as acceptable. Well, I, I think, again, we understand all the surveys come from them, too. So what are they trying to tell us? I think they're trying to incite this word. That one. Yes, that one. That's what they want. You know, again, they are trying to, to get us to do that. Because then they'll have more excuses to install new laws. And it's weird because now I keep thinking post-2025. And that's what's really on my mind lately is 2025 to 2030. Because, yes, uh, for those of us in NATO countries, the next uh, 14, 16, maybe 18 months is going to literally be the toughest thing we've ever seen. As the power structure changes... What comes into play after that is going to be, um, you know, it's it's going to be what's been planned out by the few and those above the few. And what they're planning on is all of us waking up and instead saying, you know, we're all living in America like that Rammstein song. We're going to be all saying, you know, welcome to CCPville. Like, you know, what was that guy's name? Margaritaville. Uh, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett. Welcome to CCPville. That's that's exactly what they have planned. And all the laws are still going into effect. Media confidence in U.S. matches 2016. Matches? <laughs> Should be a lot less than that. We talked about um, the, the apparent growth of, of male uh, huevos on uh, JB over on EE Arts. Yeah, you know, and then we see some Some were saying that he had to cancel or cut the trip short due to a medical emergency. I don't know. Maybe he had to have a testicular removal from his chin, perhaps. Don't forget, this was given to us as perhaps the poster boy of, of the Republican Party. As the best president we have seen in, in our lifetimes, he was an actor. Bedtime for Bonzo. It was all acting. He was at Bohemian Grove with with uh, Nixon and you know Buckley and so many of these other insiders. It's all acting. It's all for show. That's the big reveal. It's it's time for the world to wake up to what's really going on. But at the same time, they have to have a good script because they got to keep you pulled into the drama. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are all, every single one of them are deep state. Every single one of them. There are no good actors. That's no such thing. They all are playing a part to basically pull everything out from underneath us, take our freedoms. Watched a video, read an article, saw some things that are going on, and... It's really <clears throat> sad to watch. I think it's important to be in the know so you know how to position yourself. Um, but some very large food companies are joining up with some very large uh, bug producing companies to make sure that you keep your uh, kids' chicken nuggets good and good and ready on the plate, hot and on the plate for your children. And it's just how they're going to be raising people now. Share with them what you were telling me uh, about the banks will be happy if you can't control your carbon emissions right. yourself to to take your mortgage back and then they'll control it for you. Right. I mean, they're they're uh, the state government is shelling out a certain amount of money for people to upgrade their houses to meet carbon emissions. They're sending about 20,000 children to, uh, you know, make the world better school to indoctrinate them and get them to find out how to 
make the world um, a better place, you know, according to those that are in power. And if you can't upgrade your house to meet certain, you know, procedures, and and don't worry, the government's going to give out, you know, a portion of money. But if that's not enough, you know, the banks are happy to buy your houses back and upgrade them for you. So 2050 is said to be about half the planet is going to be under this type of rulership and also when it comes to plane travel and and the star children talked about that that was something very odd there was there was no planes in the sky 2035 there was no planes in the sky and that's already on on going on now so if you plan on doing any traveling the traveling uh it's going to go up and up and up to the point where only the elite will be able to afford it and then by then you know you'll be looking at spaceships yeah, I do think, you know, like 2026, uh, 2027, it's like after the war is done, that's when the real push is uh, to, you know, stranglehold everybody into uh, those cell cities. I mean, they're going to keep and we call them cell cities because that's the, the name that they call them. They call them cell cities to themselves. They don't call them smart cities. Um, they call it smart cities for the public, 15 minute cities for cu- public consumption. They're cell cities where they're going to keep their slaves, basically. So, again, get out of the system. We have to get out of the system. You know, we don't have all the answers and we are not financial wizards. Absolutely not because we, we find the whole system repulsive, but we are in the system. So we still are in the system, but um, I think the time to be out of the system is sooner than later. And you're not going to get any white hats in the system. The, the system can doesn't allow white hats. So anybody that we see inside the system and wanting to just tweak the system is doing just that. They're, they're just trying to tweak it for appearance sake. It's not real. No real change is going to come inside of the system. We have to recognize it's all actors. It's all a show. It's all a drama. Your cash doesn't even exist in the banks. That's what we're talking about on the other channel. And at some point in time, probably not too far away, uh, people will look to go get their uh, cash and there's going to be nothing there. There never was. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's all a big Ponzi scheme. It's all a big illusion. So again, get yourself as self-sufficient as possible. If you are relying on the government uh, to support you, uh, then you're absolutely going to end up being the slave. So we, we don't want that. We have to, we have to get out of the system to have any type of freedom at all. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.